Hi, I'm contributing writer Erica Blair, and I'm here to celebrate May Day by talking about one of my favorite kind of weird New York topics, the 1920 anarchist bombing of Wall Street by Mario Buda. On September 16th, 1920, Buddha drove a horse-drawn carriage to the center of Wall Street and Broad Street and parked it in front of the J.P. Morgan building. Soon after setting off a timer, Buddha fled the scene at noon on that day. The bomb went off, killing 38 and injuring 143, one of whom injured was Joseph P. Kennedy, JFK's father, who was also an asshole. <laughs> Many assume that the bombing was direct response to the 1919 Palmer raids by U.S. Attorney General Alexander Mitchell Palmer, in which 10,000 people were arrested, often wrongly accused for anarchist activities, and rounded up. This is seen as a model for the major Red Scare in the late 50s. People also assume that this was in response to the framing of Sacco and Vincetti for murder. Mario Buda was friends with them and organized often alongside of them in Massachusetts. The case was never officially closed. A few days later, there were notes found in local post office boxes near the scene of the bombings. The notes read, remember, we will not tolerate any longer. Free the political prisoners or it will be sure death for all of you. Signed, the American Anarchist Fighters. Buda eventually fled to Italy and died on June 1st, 1963. My favorite aspect of this story are that the walls of the original J.P. Morgan building are still dented and pockmarked with signs of the bombing. I can run my hand over them when I walk down the street over there, if we're ever let out from a quarantine. <laughs> Happy May Day. Remember the people's history.